Many years ago, uh, in a very early Oshkosh period, I had the chance to see what was happening with your design series in its, uh, I guess, early years would be the best way to put it at this stage of the game. Much has happened along the way. Can you give us kind of an overview of your offerings at this point? Uh, well, after a long development and uh, improvement of our product, we are now offering four different models. The 8, the 7 series, which include two different models, a tandem seat and a single seat, and also a Cicada 12 helicopter, which is a two-seat side-by-side, and as well as I said, the 8 is also a two-seat side-by-side helicopter. And we also have a trainer, SVH-4, which is a helicopter attached to a platform that can be used for the first 10 hours of training in a helicopter training course. The 7 Series that we're in front of right now, where is the market for that? What is that designed to do primarily? We started the market with this helicopter mainly in Europe with the tandem version because they have the ULM category over there. And we also have a very good market in Australia where they use it for mustering. That's how mainly this market started. And I know we decided that America is a very good place for helicopters. There's a lot of pilots, a lot of people that wish to get inside a helicopter. We've received a very good reception from the people that they've seen us here for the first year and they're like, oh, we're very glad you're here and it's another option. So we think that with the markets we already have established, America is going to give that part that we maybe we're still missing. Tandem training has to be an interesting configuration can't say I have any experience training in a tandem configuration like this. How does that work out? It's kind of like being on a motorcycle. The instructor is always located at the back of you and he has a very well control over what you're doing. Well, one of the issues with side by side is you've got to constantly look over at the student and what they're doing so forth and so on. In this particular yeah. case, you've got no choice. You've got no choice. I mean, you're behind him and you're seeing everything he does. I mean, you have a very well reach of what's happening. Now tell us about the 8. What's the plan for that particular airframe and what's happening with that right now? Like an evolution of the 7, we decided the market was demanding a side-by-side -side helicopter. So we kind of like grabbed that desire and new technologies like carbon fiber and other materials to improve that design, reduce the weight of the helicopter and kind of like grab all that experience we've been gaining over 60 years that Augusto Sicare has been generating and grabbed the whole team and said, okay, let's do a product that we know we're ready to do. We know it's going to be a great helicopter because of all the performance and the technologies that we incorporated in it. Every helicopter requires a fair amount of service and support. How are you going to support the U.S. market? What is your plan for that? And oh, by the way, how much do they cost? <laughs> Here in the U.S., we have already a distributor in Cincinnati, and we are trying to establish a network of dealerships around the country that can assist the owners of the helicopters once we start building up the market. We will have someone in Florida, this one is going to Alaska, which that person is going to assist most of that part. And the price range, depending on what you want, it goes from $110,000 to eighty in that range. I mean, you have this one right here, the model you're seeing right here, that goes for 130. From there, the two seats side by side go up. How do you like working with the little Rotaxes? They're great engines. Well, we've been using the Rotax 914 and the 912 for six, seven years now. What other aircraft do you have in planning? Where do you expect to do both with the aircraft and the market? We have a few uh, prototypes regarding UAV, uh, unmanned vehicles. Uh, also, we have a design for a single seat counter rotative helicopter. And also we have in the development phase, on the design phase, four seat helicopter experimental. Very good, thank you. Okay. Aero TV is brought to you by We are the Aero News Network with over 250,000 stories, 7,000 Aero podcasts. 2,500 Aero TV programs, 500 episodes of Airborne, and so much more. It's a record of performance unequaled in the Aeroverse, and there's far more to come. Aero News, committed to innovate, inform, inspire, and disrupt the aviation world.